Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Ow. the Prediction Show <laughs> for the Elimination Chamber taking place, Perth, Australia, baby, Saturday, 5 o'clock in the morning for us here on the East Coast, the East Side. And joining me, as always, by my side is my mommy, who wants to have a shoey with Rhea Ripley and Grayson Waller. Oh, my goodness, the fact that you found out about the shoey. And you're disgusted. I and, am. Oh my goodness! An 88 degree weather, baby. And drinking out of a shoe. It's Ooh. hot. It's, it's hot. It stinks. It's hot it's up not. there in Perth, Australia, baby. So they're no, gonna get no. 90 degrees even during the week, up to 97. I don't think that's gonna be too much fun. Are we on? Yes. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I said hello. I thought so, but Good I thought you God. were just testing. No, I'm keeping that in because it's funny. So. Yes, folks, welcome to the Elimination Chamber Prediction Hi. Show. What's up, what's up? It is late here. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we figured we'd watch the press conference, the press event, if you will. And putting that in quotations, the magma, to quote Austin Powers. Um, it was interesting. It was fine. You know what I'm saying? We saw Kevin Owens, Randy Orton, and Logan Paul go at it. Logan Paul, your favorite wrestler in the world. Fuck your cane. <laughs> Fuck everything that has to do with your cane. That's what she just dropped right there. Just saying, fuck you to everybody who has a cane. That's right. That's, That's right. Not nice. Well, it is okay. <laughs> Go ahead. It's all right. We're, this is why we're audio doing this, folks. We're not even on video. This is why it's audio. Drop that cane. <laughs> Grab them cakes. Make that change. I almost fell off the bed. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad tonight. <laughs> oh, oh, my Lord. Anyway, as I was saying, at, like I said, what had happened was. We had Randy Orton, Logan Paul, and Kevin Owens. A nice little stare down between the three of them. Uh, talking about Kevin Owens weaseling, Logan Paul's weaseling him his way into the WWE. I got to say, people do not like Mr. Logan Paul up in Perth, I Australia. Agree. I, I agree, too. in the United States. You well, know. him and his prime drink, which got good use at the press conference, as Rhea Ripley talked about that riptide, splash, splash, splash bitch, bitch, right in Nia Jax's <laughs> face, so... I mean, that might have gotten shaken up a little bit, by the way, the prime, because Kevin Owens knocked that prime right out of Logan Paul's hands. I might have a little shaken up a little bit, the carbonated drinks, baby. Well, she even shook it up a little bit. I know, she even shook it up. I I like that. And, I mean, the Bianca Belair, Becky Lynch stare down was fine. I know your girl. I'm going to say she's your girl now, Tiffany Stratton. You like you some Tiffany Stratton. It's Tiffany time. Uh I do. I think for someone, who again, who's only been doing it for like two years, she's got it down pat. She's very athletic with the PME. (laughs) What the hell's wrong with you? You scared me. I uh, didn't know he was there. We got a cat on the bed here, folks. <laughs> All of a sudden, something was sniffing my arm. I was like, what? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. But anyway, so, yes, that was the press event. Uh, we had, first of all, y'all in Australia are out of key. Because, well, I got to say, watching them try to sing Kingdom at the press event was hilarious. Because, again, they were going in different parts they were doing the old AEW, as you noticed, that one line where it's like adrenaline in my soul, every thought out of control. They did like what the AEW guys did with being the elite. They changed it to adrenaline in my soul, something, something, Cody Rhodes, which is not the lyric. It's become a popular thing with that line. Something, something, Cody Rhodes. Because, again, anyway, they I digress. Don't know the words. They're all words. But I think just having that was very cool since Cody was not there. And Seth Rollins did his thing thing and that Rocky sucks which is great now because they're booing the rock. They do not like the rock. If you smell what the bloodline is cooking. Mm. Oh, man. So I think we'll start it there before we even get into the matches. The big thing tomorrow for the angle-wise is Grayson Waller effect with Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes. Um, I think uh, Grayson Waller, much like we saw with Paul Heyman him talking to him on SmackDown, he's going to be hashtag stir the pot and try to get a little uh, dissension between Cody and Seth. And they're going to have it, try to have him arguing and whatnot. But I don't think it's going to work. And I think we're going to have Grayson Waller try to attack Cody and Seth with his boy, Eight Town Down, Eight Town Down Under, Austin Theory, uh, get involved there. If we don't see Roman and Rock, I think we're going to have a confrontation and a nice little bra between Cody and Seth and Grayson Waller and Austin Theory, a little brawlski action. So let's oh. see where that goes on the uh, angle side of things. Mm-hmm. That's going to be cool. And I mean, we also have the fact that I got to say, speaking of Austin Theory, getting at it in the talk show today, man, not happy. Him and Grayson Waller, when it comes to coming back to Australia, we saw Grayson Waller on the talk show going at that guy. I'm not going to be doing your little skit or whatever you want me to do. I'll, if, you, if I get up, I'm going to punch you in the face. 
Austin Theory was like, you want to make fun of this? You you haven't walked a mile in my shoes. You think what I do is easy? I'm going to smack the shit out your face. Mm-hmm. And he walked off. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. I'm just saying, this is what we got going on with the world of professional wrestling. Even freaking Australia, man. They don't know. They won't mess. Stop your press. They mm-hmm. want that mess. <laughs> okay. We have not been drinking, just so you no, know. No, it's not. It's just, it's how it is. It's late, but we doing it like this, man. I've done like four shows this week anyway, so there's a lot of press going on, if you will, for mm-hmm. content creation as well. And I will put it to you like this. The Elimination Chamber does have a special place in my heart because of this one alongside me. Because <laughs> we were at the first ever Elimination Chamber match with Shawn Michaels winning against Triple H, Rob Van Dam, Booker T. Kane, and Chris Jericho. At the Sur- Rob Van Dam. <laughs> I know. She can't look at Rob Van Dam the same without thinking about twerkage. That's what she thinks about is that twerkage. I got lipstick on my booty. Shout out to Katie Forbes. And um, that's his wife. And, my God. That's his boo thing, man. That's his boo thing. You're my little boo thing. No, that's a big boo thing. That's his little boo thing man you, it, she's beautiful is what it is that's beautiful right no. there trying to get to you and that booty yeah buddy <laughs> so we have that we were there for the first ever elimination chamber match survivor series 02 Shawn michaels winning the title special moment great moment in our professional wrestling history but the second one is the one that took it over the top as it has become the main story between us when it comes to SummerSlam 03, which featured Shawn Michaels, Kevin Nash, Chris Jericho, Randy Orton, Goldberg, and Triple H for the World's Heavyweight Championship. But there was a special moment in that match that this one loves the Elimination Chamber match because <laughs> Triple H came out of the body. Yeah, I'm the game. And Ric Flair is woo, 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 woo. They're all excited. Triple H coming out the pod. Then sweet chin music from Shawn Michaels right back into the pod. I am the game. Boom. Boom. Right back into the pod. He has splitting up that water and everything. And he's just... Kicked him right back in that. Probably one of the most iconic moments. If you ch- if you search Google on the images, right? If you type in Elimination Chamber or the match from SummerSlam 03, one of the top images is Shawn Michaels kicking Triple H in the face. Just because it's such an iconic shot from that. Uh... I liked it so much, I made him stay up to watch it again. <laughs> so, folks, to, to put a little story to that, and this is to the youngins even out there now, um, SummerSlam 03, this is the year 2003, so pay-per-view, where you actually had to pay before streaming and the WWE Network, uh, we paid it, we watched from 8 to 11, and then this one goes, I want to see that again. And I'm like, so you're going to make me watch this from 11 to 2 o'clock in the morning. Mind you, it was the summer. There was no school. But at the same time, it's like you made me stay up to 2 o'clock in the morning to watch one spot again. Not not just because, oh, my God, this show is awesome. But, oh, my God, what a spot. We got to watch the show again. That is what I remember from the Elimination Chamber. Before we had the pay-per-views, it was a specialty type of match and a novelty. And it was now a good summer. it was summer summer oh three baby, uh, but that is that's that's what we always talk about the elimination chambers the two special moments one more special than the other and returns to I am the game boom and all that but <laughs> still my childhood second pay per view ever went to Survivor Series of two MSG, and elimination chamber is airing like we mentioned five o'clock in the morning Eastern Standard Time on Saturday. Uh, it's going to be a good show, especially from what we saw tonight. I thought it enhanced a lot of stories, and we'll kick it off with this because. There's going to be a pre-show match at 4 o'clock in the morning, the kickoff match, if you will, as it was announced. It is going to be the Kabuki Warriors, Asuka and Kairi Sane, defending the Women's Tag Team Championships against Candice LeRae and Australia's own Indy Hartwell. Now, Bronson Reed can't even get on this goddamn show because he lost to Bobby Lashley in the Elimination Chamber qualifier, so we don't get big Bronson Reed. Good. But we Wow. <laughs> she, you are not a fan of the Thick Boy? No, I'm not. Not a fan of the... Thick Boy! Thick Boy! So... I mean, first of all, why is it? You get, why you got to make fun of the man's looks? He's a big gargantuan who can move. He's athletic for his size, but you always got to make fun of his looks. I just, I just don't like it. You ain't a fan, man. You mm-hmm. ain't about that life. No. We ain't about that thick boy uh, life. No, I'm not. What kind of life aren't you about? Thick boy. That thick boy life. Life, okay. With that thickness, man. Go ahead. Thick move. thighs save lives. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll we'll get to him later. Yeah. So <laughs> the Kabuki Warriors, Asuka and Kairi Sane are taking on Candice Lerner and Indy Hartwell. First of all, out of nowhere, this is happening. We only found out about it just on the presser, the press uh-huh. event, if you will. And, well, it makes sense for the fact that Indy is home and she's going to be wrestling for the Women's Tag Team I Championship. I she'd win, but they're not going to take the title. No, 
And no, From so Kabuki's. we are going with the Kabuki Warriors, Asuka and Kairi Sane, because we have to enhance the story that Io's going to be in her corner. So I'm going to guess Bailey's going to get involved in this thing, dang, possibly if she's even there, because it's going to enhance the WrestleMania with Bailey and Io. Bailey and Io, WrestleMania. She's got to be with what them. What is Bailey going to do? If they be, if, if, well, Io's not a Kabuki. Yes, she is. They're all associated with each other. They're, she, they're damage, damage control. control. But yeah. she's associated with the Kabuki Warriors. So if they all beat down on Candace and Indy, Bailey makes the save because um, it, it builds to the WrestleMania match. I have to say so. But out of these two, I got to go Kabuki Warriors to retain. Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell are going to do the damn thing, but they ain't winning. You? I just said the Kabuki, Kabukis. The kab- <laughs> it's not the Kabukis. It's the Kabuki Warriors. <laughs> well. The Kabuki Warriors. But yes, they're going to retain the Women's Tag Team Championship. Going to be a good match, but There's yeah. too many words. Why is it too many words? Because Kabuki was another. Kabuki you know Wars. who I was talking about. Yes. I do not see Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell winning, so Kabuki Wars. An easy one to predict. I mean, if they would win, if it wasn't that they were going to take the title. They're not taking title the match. titles. Well, that's what I'm saying. If it wasn't a title match, then I was saying All right. yeah, we'll, win, we'll go back to your. Gonna... We'll go back to your favorite women's tag team match. Or your favorite women's tag team, excuse me. And I say this sarcastically. The Iconics, when they wrestled at Super Showdown, like, and they were just in the tag match, you knew they were just going to win in front of Australia. But for the tag title, Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell are not going to win. The, I don't icon- think. the Iconics. You were not a fan of the Iconics. No, I was not. They were funny, though. They were good. That's stupid. You got hate in your heart for like gimmicks that involve like comedy or anything, man. I would say that you would have hate with anything with comedy, but you do like some of the comedy. Not mm-hmm. all the comedy. Not all the comedy. Or some of the comedy. Can I please have that? All right. As we Thank give you. her the cheer one here, folks. Thank uh, you. You're welcome. <laughs> So we'll get to the main card now, and we'll start with this match. I'm, I'm going to say right now, I'm a little iffy on the name, just because why couldn't we keep it the British Strong style, but okay. We got the new Catch Republic, Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate, challenging the Judgment Day as Finn Balor and Damian Priest for the undisputed WWE Tag Team what Championship. What kind of name is that? He explained it on SmackDown, but I forgot what it was. It's the new Catch Republic. I'm sure it has something to do with the UK. Catch? C-A-T-C-H? Yes, the new Catch Republic. Whatever, okay. Uh, I mean, he explained it on SmackDown to Tyler Bate, but I'm like, why can't we just call it British Strong Style? Y'all are no for British Strong Style. You, Trent Seven, and Tyler Bate, like, y'all were, like, British Strong Style was a thing. But all right, if y'all going to be new Catch Republic, that's fine. And I mean, Trent Seven. I don't know. But they're looking to catch them undisputed WWE tag team champions is what they're doing. They're catching the gold. They so. want to. I mean, they had a banger with DIY on SmackDown to get this matchup. Man. They just came back together. I'm happy that they're back together. I like the fact that Butch is now Pete Dunne again. Yes. Even the, or Peter Dune, if you are <laughs> <Yes>. Elton Prince <laughs> of Pretty Deadly. I think that feud's going to continue, so I don't see them winning the tag titles. I'm going to pick the Judgment Day first. Who are you picking? The Judgment Day, Finn Balor, and Damian Priest, or Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate. I know who you want to win, but who are you picking? Yes, the Judgment Day. And I'll tell you why. Because I think the Judgment Day are going to lose at WrestleMania to it looks like the tag team that they are going to face at WrestleMania, R-Truth and The Miz. Awesome truth. <laughs> that might be funny. So that would be funny to see R-Truth, who's finally seen the light that the Judgment Day are not his friends, even being naive and whatnot, and taking the beatdowns that he had received. And now it looks like him and The Miz are on a tag team course, a tag team collision for WrestleMania. But yeah, I got to go Judgment Day, even though I kind of want Peter Dune That's and Tyler like Bate it. to win, but I don't see it. I, I First of all, y'all can say what you want about Pretty Deadly. That team is freaking funny, number one. And number two, I'm looking forward to them. The fact that they're selling the injury of friggin' what's-his-face, Kit Wilson's hands because of that. <laughs> it's great. It's like with Elton Prince and the disco-located shoulder. Uh, Peter Dune, and Ty- that's even funnier than friggin' Peter Dune. Peter Dune is not going to win, and Tyler Bate. And also I got to say, who the hell is this butch? No, Elton Prince. Who, the who, who, who the hell is this Pete Dunn? Yes. Pete Dunn. <laughs> My apologies. I flipped it. Who the hell is this Pete Dunn? Oh, but yes. I was supposed to wrestle Butch and like, <laughs> this Pete this Dunn. Peter Dune. Peter Dune. <laughs> it's comedy, people. Uh, Judgment Day to retain. And we got Kabuki Warriors on the pre show. So we're neck and neck. We're in the, uh, we're agreeing. So, so, so next, we're going to go to another one we're probably going to agree on Rhea Ripley and Nia Jax for the oh, Women's World cool. Championship. If Nia Jax wins, people will freaking riot. But in a way, I'm kind of here for it. I'll tell you why. Um, this is probably the best Nia Jax has ever looked in her WWE tenure since coming back. She's been knocking some faces. She's beaten Becky Lynch. She's went through the whole division. Uh, if I wanted to have some heat, you have Nia win, and then you do Nia and Becky at WrestleMania just for the fact that Becky can get her win back on Nia Jax. But I don't see it happening. 
If Rhea Ripley does not win, these people will riot. I'm going with Rhea Ripley. I'm going with Mommy, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. You know what I'm saying? So I got to go Rhea. She's going to get that big moment. She's going to get the rip tied and lift up Nia Jax for that one, two, three. I'm going Rhea Ripley. You? Rhea. It's a foregone conclusion, man, but I'm looking forward to it. Splash, splash, bitch. Splash, splash. <laughs> that was funny. It was great. It was great. So we'll move on to, speaking of the women here, the Elimination Chamber match for a Women's World Championship match at WrestleMania 40. Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, Liv Morgan, Tiffany Stratton, Naomi, and the return of Raquel Rodriguez, who won the Last Chance Battle Royale on Monday. Um, I'm going to cancel out Raquel. I know she has history with Rhea as well, and that's the last time we saw her before she made her return. Um, I'm going to cancel out Naomi because I like Naomi, but I think it's too soon for Naomi. Mm -hmm. Tiffany Stratton I like I think that would be very interesting to see the two of them but number one she's a heel and number two too soon uh Bianca Belair no just for the fact that you've seen it already and I think Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill if they go that direction would be interesting because they had that interaction in the Royal Rumble uh which leaves Becky Lynch and Liv Morgan uh Liv Morgan no uh and I don't again don't hate the girl but when she was the SmackDown Women's Championship I'm like yeah okay no it, it was it was nice because you know she works hard and yada yada but no I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. It's and I, gonna be Becky. And I like Liv Morgan, but no, That's it's gonna be Becky. Think. That's what I think. But you got heat in your heart in your heart for Liv Morgan. You do. I, I just don't think she's that great of a wrestler, period. Wow, okay. So here's my thing with her. It reminds me of when Kelly Kelly was the was the Divas champion. Not believable. Well, they had Kelly Kelly who again improved. And I don't hate Kelly Kelly. I don't but hate But when Liv she's Morgan. but when she's beaten Beth Phoenix like three times in a row, no. I'm like you're going to have to stop this because I'm like, what are you doing? And then Beth finally beat her, of course. But I'm like, she beat her like two or three times in a row. And I'm yeah, like, what the hell you Liv Morgan beat like... Uh, she beat Shayna and Rhonda, uh -huh. but like fluke wins, like with Rhonda. Shayna was just kind of like she slept on the banana peel and then Liv Morgan won. Like, and again, it's Shayna and Rhonda. I know it's, I know it's the story, folks, but Liv Morgan, no. It's got to be Becky because they hyped that at the WrestleMania press conference. And if you really want to keep solidifying Mommy, even more, much like she beat Charlotte last year, I would have her beat Becky at WrestleMania. So yes. I got to go Rhea, and we're going to go Becky. We're going to go Judgment Day, and we're going to go Kabuki Warriors, which brings us to the Elimination Chamber match for a World Heavyweight Championship match at WrestleMania 40. It is Randy Orton, Bobby Lashley, Kevin Owens, your favorite, Logan Paul, uh, <laughs> LA Knight, yeah, and Drew McIntyre. Um, I'm going to cancel out Randy Orton because I don't see him winning. And I like Randy Orton, but no. Uh, I'm going to cancel out Bobby Lashley because Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits are still feuding with the Final Testament, Karrion Cross and the Authors of Pain. Mm -hmm. What's your prediction for the fight? Pain. Hey, woman. Hey, woman. Like it's Rocky Three up in here. Uh, L.A. Knight, yeah. Um, he sort of died out. He didn't, no, he hasn't died out. He's still over, but I don't see him I'm going. just saying people aren't as crazy. No, they are. They're still uh, chanting yeah. L.A. Knight, yeah. It was just, I, I, he just seemed to be winning more and more in the spotlight. He know? was in the spotlight. He he's, sort of cooled off. A no, he's still in the spotlight. He's but just not around. Like, I can't explain it. Not like I know it. what you're saying, but he's still there's I'm some not people. Saying he's not over. There's some so. people that don't need a title to be over. So mm -hmm. NLA Knight's one of those guys. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't see him winning this. I, I don't. Uh, Logan Paul, no. I mean, God help us. Stop it. I don't want to see. I mean, him and Seth makes sense because they of last year's bout. Uh, but Logan Paul and Kevin Owens are going to cancel each other out because you know Kevin Owens wants that rematch for the world for the United States Championship. Excuse me. I'd like to see him really. I know because because Logan again. Paul won by DQ because Kevin used the brass knucks. So, but those were his. I know, but they're going to cancel each other out, and I see that'll be the U.S. Championship match for Mania, and then Kevin Owens beats him, which makes sense because so, this yeah. whole thing started at WrestleMania three years ago when he gave him the stomach. So that makes sense there. Stunner, stunner. Stunner, stunner, yes. Uh, Drew McIntyre, I got to go with. I got to go DM Hunk because of the fact that this is probably. Who sings that? Stutter, stutter, stutter. Joe. Joe, yeah. I can tell you lying because when you were playing, stutter, 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 stutter. Which also featured Mystical on the remix. Keep a line up, but watch some. <laughs> yeah. So. Anyway, mystical aside, and his shake your ass, watch yourself. Show me what you're working with. I got to go with Drew. <laughs> Dude, every song of Mystical sounds the same. Shake your ass. Watch yourself. Danger. You got me up against the wall. Like, every song sounds the same. The trademark Mystical, baby. Ugh. Anyway. Yeah. I got to go DM Hunk. Drew McIntyre. 
to win the Elimination Chamber match. And it sets up six to eight months down the line when he comes back. CM Punk trying to finish his story, and he faces Drew McIntyre for the WWE, the championship, the World Heavyweight Championship, excuse me. So I got to go Drew McIntyre. Now, the person who wins this fight... Faces Seth at WrestleMania. That's all that this is. is yes. Who, who's going to face Seth? Seth, much like the Women's World Championship, like we mentioned Becky Lynch, we think she's going to face her. And we talked about that. Who are you going uh, with? Uh, I'm going to go Drew. I don't know. I want to say LA Knight. You're going to go LA Knight? I don't see him in set, though. I'm sorry. I don't see it. I, I, Why not? He did Roman. He fought Roman. I know he did, but I don't see LA Knight winning this just because I would like to see. I'm going to tell you what I'd like to see. I'd like to see LA Knight and Logan Paul down the line. And I maybe if Kevin doesn't beat Logan Paul, maybe LA Knight beats Logan Paul. Can you imagine the microphone battle between those two and the fact that LA Knight even told him before when they were going to the money in the bank that he's just parading to teenagers and the, and the prime drink and saying that it sucks. I would like to see LA Knight be the guy to beat Logan Paul for the United States Championship. But I'd like to see Kevin Owens. I would in a way too, but I think, I don't know. I'm, I'm torn a little bit. I don't, I can tell you right now, it's not going to be Bobby Lashley or Andy Orton. I don't think so. I, but Drew McIntyre is white hot right now with the DM hunk, the tombstone on the t-shirt with CM Punk in you know, 2024 and everything, what he did to Punk. Um, I got to go Drew because it makes sense for Drew to win. Then Punk comes back and Drew's the champion and then they chase each other for the title. I so got then me. you're saying Drew is going to beat Seth? Yeah. Did you say yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I got to go Drew, man. And here's the thing with Seth. Like, I've been enjoying his run, but if you mean he's hurt right now, so I got to go Drew taking it off of him. And they still have a history because the last time they faced Seth won. So I think Drew. it's time for Drew to get his win back. So, yeah. And also... This is the run that he should have had with the pandemic. I mean, he was the big guy with the pandemic era being the and champion. Nobody was and there. nobody was there. And he was white hot. But I think now that it's in front of people four years later, and they're still playing like the fact that he's a heel, but he's acting like, I'm doing this for you. I'm going to say WrestleMania. He's that delusional heel that thinks he's a baby face. All right. We'll say Drew. I'll go with you. All right. We'll go with Drew. Okay. So that is the Elimination Chamber predicted along with the angle of the Grayson Waller effect. Are we done? Yeah. It was, it was going to be a short one just for the fact that there's only five matches on this doggone card. It was originally four with the angle, but now it's five at the angle because at four o'clock we got the Kabuki Warriors. Okay. So that is the Elimination Chamber, folks. I mean, it was going to be a quick one, but it's something to get out there to really think about and marinate, which also leads to WrestleMania. I want to see Rhea and Becky. I want to see Seth and Drew. I want to see R-Truth and the Miz beat the Judgment Day. So they're really planting the seeds on the road to WrestleMania, which two nights, man. And we'll see if Roman and Rock, what's going to happen with them going down. I don't understand that. I don't understand what's going to happen. Because well, then if Roman and Rock, then what happens to Cody and Roman? No, they're still going to do Cody and Roman. So what is the is so what is the Rock is going to double cross Roman Reigns? He what, they our put up the Chief is going to fight put, two nights no, in a row. They put up the ones for if you smell what the bloodline is cooking. But mm -hmm. Roman was looking at Rock was looking at Roman. He was talking about you're going to be a loser. And he had that. One and he had the L. one and L for yeah. loser. Uh -huh. One with an L, the shape on his forehead like he's an all star. Shades of Smash Mouth. I'm talking about the fact that he had the one L like this. He wasn't putting up the ones. He put up the one with that. So. He's going to double-cross Roman Reigns, which will then lead to next year's WrestleMania, which should be Roman and Rock. They could do a year-long feud like they did with The Rock and Cena. And then Cody's going to win. And Cody's going to beat Roman Reigns. He's got to lose. I've said this to you many times. I know you don't want to see it, but he's got to lose. My tribal chief should never lose. He's, this one last year was the only one who picked the Roman. <laughs> and she thought it was great because we were doing the predictions championship. And then friggin' this one over here had to friggin' win it because she picked Roman. <laughs> like friggin' one or two years. No, that was two years ago, but still last year. You were the I you. That one's no, you were so happy that friggin' Solo came in and spiked him, and then he lost, and then the rubber chicken in the ring, boom. <laughs> like it just. Ugh. He's got to lose. He's got to lose, and I I've been patient with it too, just because I understand long term reigns, much like we saw in the eighties. But, well, I don't see who. who well, what are you talking about? Well, what? Can't nobody knock him out. Can nobody knock me out? <laughs> no. I'm tired of being humble. <laughs> I'm tired of giving people chances. Uh, they told that story well with him and Logan Paul, and then he showed him with the right hand, and then he got a little worried. Uh, that was a good story. But no, um, well, that also pisses you off about Logan Paul because he just came in like friggin' he has the match with him and the Miz against the Mysterios at WrestleMania. Then he beats the Miz at SummerSlam, and then third match in, he's going for the title. 
with Roman. Roman. That I know, pissed if you he, off. If he, if he wins, that's it. I'm not watching. Well, the movie. problem that I had, I think, around the time, too, is they made him a baby face. Logan Paul is not a baby face. That's the problem. Like, you couldn't make him a baby face. This is some, I know you don't like him, but this is some of his best work as a heel now. He could go. He's a douche, but he could go. And I know you don't like him because he came from the YouTube world and the social media influencer that he is with his podcast. That's very big. And now, you know, you don't like it. And you don't like the fact that Prime is going to kids. You don't like the fact that Prime is. No, I don't. There's a lot of caffeine in it. There it's is. not good for kids. There is. And I don't, I don't like, every time I see him, I just want to punch him in the That's face. That's the point. It's like how we used to have with The Miz. He has such a punchable face. I don't like him. Just don't like him. Doesn't. Well, you're not and the only And he's one. not a wrestler. And yes, I he is. He, no. He <laughs> came in off nowhere and all of a sudden he's, he's, he's a very champion. popular. He's very popular. Not with me. He's not. On podcasts and social media. And apparently he's not with the wrestling people either. They're all booing him today. Well, that's because he's a heel. He's very good at what he does. He sucks. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> Let's not like Logan Paul. A lot of people don't either. A lot, a lot of people do not like the Paul brothers. I always say this, like he, the the fact that Jake. I don't know about his brother. Oh, the Jake so Paul came from Bizarre Park, which is hilarious, the Disney Channel show, and now he's friggin' he's boxing and all that. He's he not came bad. From an odd bark. The name of the Disney show was Bizarre Park. Bizarre mixed with Odd Park. Bizarre Park, and he looked completely different. I did not watch the show, but I'm aware of my surroundings. And Logan Paul appeared on an episode with his brother. So, yes, the Disney Channel people. So, apparently, he's an actor, too. They do their thing, man. They do their thing. I do not watch Disney Channel. The only reason I watch Disney Channel that one. I don't. Admit it. You watch it. You watch it. (laughs) No, I do not. No, he doesn't. (laughs) I don't. But she just wants to get my goat right now. So, yeah. girl. The only thing I watched on there was Girl Meets World, to be completely honest with you. And that sucked. That's the problem. Don't do fucking remakes, people. What do you mean that? You didn't like Boy Meets World? Girl Meets World was the spinoff. And Watch it's... It. Watching out for a cat here. Yeah. Girl Meets World was the spinoff, and it sucked. Oh. Okay. But yes, that is your Elimination Chamber, folks. We hope you enjoyed and were entertained by our surroundings and our laughter and her almost falling off the bed and everything that went into throwing her cane down <laughs> and just everything that was that. This is why you don't get it on video, because I would normally do video with these shows, but normally you get audio and video with these shows. But, yeah, you do not like being on camera. So. No, I do not. Mm-mm. Not a fan. No, and, and. Yes. Why do you even need me, to be honest? Because I enjoy your company, and I enjoy the entertainment that but you But you just me talk show. over me. You just I do not talk, talk over you. You talk one mile a minute. I can't get a word in. Yeah, you did. No, you didn't. Well, you didn't know Hardly. what to say. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yeah. You go back and listen to this. You'll hear who did all the talking. But you said your piece. You said your piece. You don't like the new Catch Republic name, too. I don't like it either. I don't get it. But all right. Whatever you say. I guess it has something to do with the UK, but I would have preferred British Strong Style. And a lot of this stuff here, like with the Judgment Day winning, again, it leads to awesome truth. Becky should be a shoe in to win. If Liv Morgan wins, I'm um, no. And I mean, I get why she would be one because she was the last time we saw her a year ago, she got attacked by Rhea, but Rhea and Liv does not say WrestleMania to me. Me either. It doesn't. Uh, Rhea and Nia, that's, that's interesting and it's going to be good just so Rhea can get that moment of lifting Who are her we up. saying? Rhea and Becky, right? Yeah, we're saying Rhea and Becky. So we think Rhea's going to beat Nia and Becky's going to win the chamber. And we're thinking Drew's going to win the elimination chamber to face Seth, which would make sense. Um, and the Kabuki Warriors, that's an easy one just because, again, Indy Hartwell gets her moment to perform in front of her home, her home country, excuse me. Mm-hmm. But there's no way she's win. First of all, you hardly ever see Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell on Raw with the tag team. We'll see them once in a while. And, I mean, they've been in there. They've been around, but they're not winning the tag titles. I can't see that. They're, I mean, they won the, they're former NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, but I don't see them. Yes, and that Indy Hartwell, whatever. She that was the one who was with Dexter right. Loomis. No, she had a broken ankle. I know, but she was also the one that was married to Dexter Loomis on NXT. Yeah, that much up. Mm -hmm. What happened to him? I don't know. I don't know. But yes, she's the one who broke her ankle and had to relinquish the NXT Women's Championship. You're correct. See, I know what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. (laughs) Yes, right. (laughs) But that was your elimination chamber. I do not talk over you. You just don't have much to say because you can't be descriptive with your words, boo. I don't know. You just blah, 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 constant. You yeah. just gotta. You got the big D of the mouth. The diarrhea of the mouth, <laughs> baby. <laughs> so I'm sorry, but he does. So I think the next one will come back for it, depending on how everything goes. Now, right after the elimination chamber, 
we go straight to NXT Stand and Deliver, which I end WrestleMania weekend. I think I want to predict Stand and Deliver with you because that is going to be the highly anticipated matchup of Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams. Whoop that trick. trick. Yeah. And the fact of the matter that Carmelo Hayes got FU Mellow chance and the people in the back said, hey, if you don't stop it, we're going to have to go off the air. Yeah, that Carmelo Hayes, he turned out to be a douche. It, for, wow. <laughs> so... <laughs> And he's wearing the Shawn Michaels jacket like when Shawn Michaels threw Marty Jannetty through the barbershop window, which, again, there's a lot of subtleties that I like about that feud. Uh, looks like we're going to get, excuse me, looks like we're going to get more of Ilya Dragunov and Carmelo Hayes at Roadblock, which I think we're going to see Car uh, Trick Williams return there before Stand and Deliver, because that's going to be in a few weeks, Roadblock, on NXT. I'm excited to see where the road to WrestleMania takes us and who's going to be in the Hall of Fame. I could tell you one person. I'm going to say right now, if you want to put someone in the Hall of Fame since they're in Philadelphia for WrestleMania, ECW, put in the wise man. Put in Paul Heyman in that Hall of Fame. He oh, deserves it. Yeah, he's been there long enough. Yes, he, he has. He does make a lot of good moves on there. And ECW, man. Well, the, he's the best part of Roman's act. I've said that many times on the on many of the shows here, and I've said it to you. He's the best part with his facial expressions. Uh -huh. I love you, my <laughs> tribal <laughs> chief. I acknowledge you, my tribal chief. And just don't, call don't hurt my tribal team. <laughs> call Roman Reigns. But yes, that's it. Fine, you want it here, Brock Lesnar. Don't leave him alone. <laughs> They're just yeah. F five. Right? Well, we can't really talk about Brock Lesnar right now. Yeah. So. Well, but he's the one who he F five him. Yes, he, he did. Paul Heyman took an F five. Yes, he did through the table. Through the table. That he did. But he said, "Leave my tribal team alone." <laughs> it looks like they've also kind of removed Brock Lesnar from the video game. You can't play him as a character because you know everything that's going on. And we're kind of erasing Brock Lesnar right now. Wow. I know. She's not happy. And especially with everything that's been going on. I've talked about it with Paul Morales. And I've talked about it on the shows. Vince McMahon, you can fuck to the left, fuck to the right, My spin key. around and go fuck yourself tonight. Sorry about that. What? Michael. That's fine. You can call me Mikey. It's cool. Mm -hmm. Well, just say it. I mean, he's a scumbag. I, well, yeah, he is, but I don't have to say bad words to no. Just, it's, it's Here's the thing: is him. we're at the point now where it's just like where you hear these accusations and you see the text messages and all that stuff. Where it's just like, yeah, he probably did it. It's not even like, oh my god, what did he do? It's just like, yeah, he probably did it. He says he didn't, but I don't know. And John Laronitis. He's a victim. No, that's John Laronitis. I know he's a victim. <laughs> he's a victim. And Vince made him do it. Oh god, just yeah, that whole thing is going to continue. And it's going to get even uglier. It's going to get even uglier. But the main thing is we have a positive now with Triple H and Nick Khan and The Rock. Do you smell what the bloodline is cooking? I got to say, that promo was funny, calling everything trailer park trash and everything. That was good. It was Rock 99, 2000, and 2003 Hollywood Rock all over again. He wore the vest like back in 99, 2000. It was good. It was good. But, yeah, I know you don't want to see him double cross the channel, Chief. No. Are you sure about that? I mean, if that's just like people saying maybe he did No, that, but... we, we all noticed it. Like he did the L like that. And then he, when he was pointing and he was saying that loser, like Roman's just sitting there. And you can tell he's pointing in the direction of Roman Reigns. So we're thinking he's going to double cross Roman Reigns. And then you have a face rock against a heel Roman either at, I wouldn't would say SummerSlam because it's more of a WrestleMania match to me. So I think that's what we're going to do. Will it be a year long build like Rock and Cena? Hmm. Um, but the difference is, Rock and Cena was ridiculous because they had Rock beat John Cena at WrestleMania 28. Then the year-long build had to go with John Cena winning the WWE title back from The Rock at that WrestleMania. So it was just a year-long feud for him to win the title. And it was built as once in a lifetime. And then they did twice in a lifetime. So oh, yeah. Tis what it is. And that's the last time you saw Rock like actually wrestle a full match and he got hurt in that match with Cena. Mm -hmm. I do not count WrestleMania 32 where he beat friggin' Eric Rowan in like four seconds. Who did that? The Rock. Man. Oh, really? WrestleMania 32, he was in there with the Wyatt family. And then he said, all right, let's fight right now. And then it was Eric Rowan who stepped up. And Eric Rowan, a.k.a. Lammy, yeah. uh, got the rock bottom, and he beat him in like five, six seconds. I don't even remember that. I guess that's how, how happy I was. Uh, that, I was two, that? that was 2016, yeah, WrestleMania 32. That was the one where Roman beat Triple H for the title. Oh. That was the one where Undertaker fought Shane McMahon in the Hell in a Cell. Oh, and, and Shane? Dove off and missed, uh, yeah. yes, off, off yeah. the cell. Uh, that was the one that had Brock Lesnar and, John, and uh, Dean Ambrose. Oh, yeah. Which John Moxley now. Mm -hmm. yeah. The only thing I remember about that is Shane jumping off the cage. Hell in a Cell. Mm -hmm. And missed. You can't call it a cage, even though it is a cage, but Hell in a Cell. That was not. That was Hell in a Cell. It match. was a Hell in a Cell match, but match. it's the same yeah, thing. Yeah. Yes. 
It's the same thing as a cage, but you can't call a cage. Hell in a cell. Whatever. <laughs> so we look to be back for predictions for Stand and Deliver. We'll see how it goes. But I wanted to get this out because I knew we would have some fun with this, as we always do. And I love doing this with you and including you. That's about <laughs> dog on time. You're welcome. And I don't talk over you, but you really don't have much to say because you can't be descriptive with your words. And that's okay. I live in a house with all men. You do, but you got to be descriptive. I can't get a word in. Say Can something. Can you imagine what it's like? Speak. Speak. I, I am speaking now. Oh, God. And I did get a couple of words in, so we'll see. We shall see. Maybe next time I should start off by saying hi, everybody, and welcome to another episode of blah, blah, blah. You should. I'm here tonight with my son, Michael Chris. Oh, you're going to do Tommy? You're going to do what Tommy Bell did? For, again, we were doing the LFC podcast, and Tommy took my freaking intro. You son of a bitch. He introduced the show instead of me. He ripped, he freaking stole my thunder and freaking did my intro on me. Well, maybe I should do Tommy that. Bell, you son of a bitch. Hey. That'll be, out, <laughs> that'll be out next week on the channel. Subscribe to the channel, guys, on YouTube. We are up to 756 subscribers, which thank you. Keep it up. Let's get to the 1,000 mark. And, uh, yeah, keep check out all the content on the Mike with Mike, Pop Culture History Podcast, LFC Podcast, Steve and Mike Show, which will be coming out soon as well. There's a lot of editing to be done. There's a lot of content to be produced and coming out. It's going to be good. So you can check us out, SM Show 1, MCL92 on the evil Twitter machine. I refuse to call it X. Uh, you can check it out, Larkin underscore 92 or MLarkinMB on the Instagram front. Subscribe to the YouTube, Mike Larkin 92 It's a very easy handle. My name, here I was born, repping the 90s, 90 babies. Woo woo. And where do you want to follow you on the Twitter front, if you even remember? I think it's it's still there. I don't know if you can get into it, but what's your Twitter, man? I don't remember. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so it's what I have a lot with all the guests. A lot of them, when I promote the social media, they have to remember. Some of them forget too, so don't even worry about it. So, Rapture116 on the Twitter front. Oh, yeah, that's what it used to follow be. Her. I don't know if it's there anymore. Just, like just follow her. She doesn't really do it a lot, folks. But if you want to give her a follow, go ahead. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, yeah. I'm thanking them, not you, but thank you too, Ben. Well, thank the people for listening. Yes, go ahead. I I'm said, sorry. I'm stealing you your said, thunder. No, no, yes, you are. I'm saying thank you very much for listening to us. And I'm sorry this has been a little bit you know, crazy tonight, but well, it's late and uh, whatever, but I, I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed listening. I will see you again soon. Talk to you soon. Beautifully said, eloquently said, man. And I got to say, folks, thank you for listening. We'll see you next time. And well, the tribal chief is going to get beat, man. <laughs> see you I next don't time. Know about that. Yep. Mm -hmm. He's got to lose sometime. It's got to happen. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. In all seriousness, good night, everybody. Good night. Enjoy Elimination Chamber at early ass o'clock. We're going to try to get up. Maybe. I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to. I like my sleep. We know that. Wow. We're going to end it on that. Good night, everybody. Good night. You're dissing me. We out. Oh, my God. Whoop that chair.